The Nexus 4 getting LTE after a minor tweak. App Store is going crazy with Black Friday deals. And the Lumia 920 sees incredible demand on Amazon. I'm Jaime Rivera, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving yesterday. And this is Pocketnow Daily. Now the hottest news that was happening yesterday while you were all eating turkey was the fact that we've got some leaked images of the HTC DLX aka Deluxe DLX and I don't really care what the phone is going to be called. This is the same variant of the J Butterfly or Droid DNA device that you know currently on Verizon. Now the coolest news about this phone is aside from the fact that we've got some really good images of it is also the fact that according to the source we'll get more information on December 6th so set your calendars. Now speaking of turkey we know that most of you are probably Probably stuck right now in a line for Black Friday deals and probably watching this on your phone. Word of warning, a company that's not going to give you any significant deals is Apple. None of them are newsworthy up to the point of mentioning, but we do see that AT&T is now offering the iPhone 5 refurbished for really cheap on their website. Now, obviously this is a refurbished device, but apparently you are getting a warranty. I haven't been able to confirm that, so just make sure you look out for that. But it's being sold really cheap, and considering the fact that it's really hard to get an iPhone 5 right now, I guess this is the second best thing to do. Now speaking of deals, we know that a lot of companies, carriers, and OEMs are offering a lot of deals on their gadgets, but the ones that are really going all out are software companies. Our advice to you is visit your respective app store because you'll notice that Gameloft, EA, and other software titles are offering a lot of games half price or even free in some cases, so make sure you follow that. Now when it comes to deals, the phone that started being sold on day one as a deal is the Nokia Lumia 920 and it's currently sold out almost everywhere. Amazon is claiming incredible demand for the device and if you wanted to get it for example with the non-contract price of 150 bucks, well now Amazon is selling it for 580 bucks if you can get it after two weeks with a back order. Some are even seeing dates of January 4th, 2013 and I'm really happy for Nokia because they're finally getting a break but sadly I couldn't secure the device so I'm not happy for me. Donations anyone? And finally, for the interesting news of the day, remember the fact that your Nexus 4 isn't capable of LTE out of the box, but it does include an SoC that is capable of providing LTE, being the Snapdragon S4 Pro. Well, new how-tos and even videos now show that it is capable of providing LTE after some minor tweaks with the device, links in the description. And well, even though we aren't capable of doing that with our review unit just yet, that leads me to the question of the day. Just how important is LTE to you up to the fact of having to tweak the device. We're not really sure if this is really going to work for you in the United States or in other countries. It is working only on Canada apparently, but for us it is a deal breaker, so leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. <laughs>